from the swashbuckling Zorro to the gunslinging mariachi, Antonio Banderas has been a household name for decades. He remained a constant on our screens over the years, reprising the role of Zorro and joining big budget franchises in Shrek and Spy Kids. But recently, his status as a genuine A-lister has come into question. We don't really hear much from Banderas nowadays, and here's why. Typecast. Although Banderas took on some pretty varied roles in his early acting days in Spain, his transition to Hollywood almost immediately pigeonholed him as the Latin lover with the sensual voice. Even his action scenes feel like he might just start getting sexy at any minute. No bad? No bad at all. No matter how much makeup you put on his face or how many things are exploding, Antonio Banderas is never more than one tango away from taking you to bed. It's a tag that's followed him his entire career. Even though he's often tried to shake the typecasting with movies like Assassins, The 13th Warrior, and 2011's The Skin I Live In, in which he played a deranged surgeon. Unfortunately, critics haven't been particularly kind to Banderas' latest work. Of the last 10 Antonio Banderas movies reviewed on Rotten Tomatoes, eight of them have scores of less than 50%. In 2014, he turned up in The Expendables 3, looking to work on his action chops. But the film was bashed by critics, and the verdict was just as bad when Banderas took on the lead role in Automata later that year. In their review of the apocalyptic sci-fi film, the rap said that Banderas was all wrong for the part, criticizing him for being shouty where he should be stern, confused where he should be clued in. Franchise Player when Antonio Banderas signed on to play Puss in Boots in Shrek 2 in 2004, he probably had no idea how popular the character would become. He showed up again in two more Shrek sequels and no less than five animated specials. Not to mention his own spin-off prequel in 2011. It grossed over half a billion dollars at the worldwide box office, but eventually the franchise was bound to run out of steam. Similarly, Spy Kids finally fizzled and Robert Rodriguez's Mexico trilogy reached its conclusion with Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Antonio Banderas has plenty of other solid film credits, but for nearly a decade, his acting work rested heavily on franchises that ultimately reached their end. But no matter what, Banderas always has a fallback. You can make anything sound sexy. Really? Okay, it's seductive. <laughs> Side gigs. Since 1997, Antonio Banderas has been creating his own line of men's fragrances alongside Spanish fashion and cosmetics giant Pouge. In 2015, Banderas also announced that he had signed up as a student at the famous London fashion school at Central St. Martins. He told the school publication, I'm going to continue doing movies and producing and I want to direct more, but there were other things in my life that I was interested in. What were those things? If you guessed capes, you'd be, yeah, you'd be right. Antonio Banderas wants to make capes. Zorro, the legend has returned! <laughs> On top of his fragrance and fashion side gigs, Banderas is also a United Nations Development Program Goodwill Ambassador, and he has his own foundation, Tears and Favors, which provides support to cancer patients. In other words, we don't see him so much anymore because he's super busy with his commitments away from Hollywood. Family Time. In 2014, Melanie Griffith and Antonio Banderas released a joint statement confirming they were bringing their near two decades of marriage to a close. Banderas saw this as an opportunity to turn over a new leaf and has been busy spending more time with his family. He told E! News, My life changed very much during the last two years. Personal reasons. The possibility of reinventing myself was there and so I said, Probably this is the moment that I can do this. Banderas also revealed that both his stepdaughter, Dakota Johnson, and his biological daughter, Stella, helped him get through the process. I told my kids sometimes, but in fact, the reality is I learned from them more. They were not very obedient, but I learned from them. Leaving Hollywood. In 2015, Banderas left the bright lights of Hollywood for the UK countryside. He currently lives with his Dutch girlfriend, Nicole Kempel, in a tailor-made eco-mansion that set him back more than $3 million. 
Looking back, it's hardly a surprise that Banderas chose to leave the States as a few years earlier, he and his then-wife Melanie Griffith tried to buy an apartment in world-famous New York apartment building, The Dakota, only to be turned away because Banderas was Hispanic, according to a lawsuit. The suit suggested that the board made cruel jokes about Banderas upon receiving his application, claiming he wanted a first-floor apartment so it would be easier to buy drugs off the street. Health concerns. In January 2017, Banderas was rushed to a hospital near his home in England after suffering agonizing pain in his chest during a workout. The Spanish star initially dismissed the incident as an episode and tweeted a photo of himself and girlfriend Nicole Campbell with the caption, enjoying nature after a little startle. He later confirmed that it was indeed a heart attack and that he had to undergo the knife to fix the problem. It was a benign attack. It hasn't caused any permanent damage and now I'm in a recovery period. It's something that happens every day to a lot of people. I didn't hide it, but I didn't want it to receive more importance than those suffered by other people. While that's great news, studio execs may think twice before casting him in long-term roles, which is a real shame for both the actor and his fans alike. What's next? One reason that Banderas chose to move out of the spotlight was to focus on his writing. He told the Sunday Times, I'm not a party person anymore, so I have the space and peace to write and really get inside my own head. I'm working on several scripts. Whether any of the screenplays he's currently writing will come to fruition is anyone's guess. But what we do know is that Banderas hasn't given up the ghost on acting quite yet. He'll star alongside Adrian Brody and John Malkovich in a Reservoir Dog style thriller called Unchained, playing an aging rock star in the action comedy, Salty, and headlining the upcoming revenge thriller, Stoic. He might have been out of the picture for a while, but Banderas looks like he has enough left in the tank for a few more rolls of the dice. And if that doesn't work, there's always capes. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.